hey, hey, it's Matt Lancer, voice of Anakin Skywalker here. You're watching the Super Awesome Geek Show. Hey, hey, guys, John here, continuing our look at Click and Play. Today we've got a lookout tower for our G.I. Joes. We're going to see how this thing works with the G.I. Joe figures. We get three soldiers, a lookout tower, heavy machine gun, cartridge belt, telescope, oil barrels, rifles, cartridge box with lid, communication instrument, wooden box with lid, backpack, and ladder. This thing is awesome, and uh, I can't wait to get into it and see how well this thing works with uh, G.I. Joe figures. We've been taking a look at a lot of click and play stuff lately. I found a big sale on Amazon and bought a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, I found some sticker sheets that I've had for a little while that I got off a guy on for about five bucks a sheet. I've been saving them to use on things just like this. And uh, we'll, we'll sticker this up and make it look G.I. Joe. But this thing is awesome. Um, let's get her open and see what we can what we can do well here's how you put it together a spotter scope a machine gun and a big old super gun on the top this thing has a slanted roof really cool this is how it comes right out of the box we'll take all the pieces and put them spread them out here all right so there's the watchtower and here's all the parts you get with it a rope ladder really cool that it actually is a rope ladder an ammo box, a crate, got a bunch of weapons, backpacks, spotter scope, and a big heavy machine gun. Three action figures. Pretty cool. In other videos, we've looked at the figure's articulation, so I think I'm going to skip that here. Um, and I might skip it here on out from all the click and play, because uh, we're mostly here to see how well this works with G.I. Joe. Not really show off the click and play figures. If you watch uh, two of the earlier videos, the one on the the bunk, the barracks bunk, and the uh, Jeep, you can see more about the action figures there. Well, we got some backpacks. These backpacks work well with G.I. Joe. The guns work well with G.I. Joe. And uh, these are kind of more rubberized like weapons than what G.I. Joe had. Pretty cool. Communications backpack. There's a part that goes around their waist and two shoulder straps. The machine gun bullets that'll go in that big gun here. Kind of boo -doo 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 out this side here. And uh, this will clip into the tower. There's a... Oh, the reload thing. That's cool. We've got um, lots of detail here. It's pretty cool. Does this come up? This looks like it might come up. Mm, it almost looks like it's a separate piece, but then again, it's not really a separate piece, is it? All right, so the gun, this gun can have a uh, bipod mount on it. Clips right on there. That's pretty cool. And then we have a spotter scope here. I like that this comes with a spotter scope. We don't we never really had a sniper and spotter scope for G.I. Joe before, I don't think so. I mean we had some sniper rifles, but no, I don't think we've had a spotter scope. So this big machine gun will go on this hole here. There's a peg and hole system to put it together. That's cool. And then I guess you just have to tuck this in here. It can go in the ammo but ammo crate if you want. But um, we can just tuck it in here for now and let it go with that. And we've got the rope ladder which will clip on with these two little hooks. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Look at that thing. That's awesome. I'm really digging that rope ladder. That's a cool idea. Lady J. We'll bring out some Joes here. Lady J, Alpine, Mutt. And we got Quick Kick. The usual gang. 
for while we're looking at click and play. <laughs> our models, these are our click and play models coming out to do their thing. They look good in the watchtower, but I I think the watchtower needs some stickers. And then we got Alpine on the spotter scope, Lady J ready to shoot him, shoot him up with the machine gun. So they work pretty well. That that's going to, you know. All right, as I said, let's sticker them up. Got some sticker sheets here for GI Joe and we'll put them up. We'll put stickers on this thing. And uh Got a caution sticker on the back when you climb up. Got some flag stickers and some United States Army stickers on the sides. And we put a big G.I. Joe on the front with a star on it. So uh, it looks a little bit more Joe-like there. There we go. <laughs> I wish I had more, more U.S. flags for the, um, the bigger ones too. I could put a it could have stood to have a bigger flag on each side or some United States, you know, instead of that little thing. But uh, the G.I. Joe and the star works out good on this front facing side. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm digging it. I like it. It does need stickers. It was too plain without the stickers. So I think it does need stickers of some kind. And um, Mutt's hands do go on the on the, the machine gun. So there you go. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this watchtower in the comments below. Does it fit G.I. Joe? Do you guys agree? Do you think these are cool? Let me know in the comments what you think about this stuff. All right, stay awesome out there, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one. See you.